I know what racism means. It's an individual who harbors a negative attitude towards someone else based on their race. But I don't know what systemic racism actually means. I know what people say it means, I process that, but what does it actually mean? It's a made up concept. It's like saying there's a systemic storm. Really, I know what a storm is. It's a weather pattern that results in rain and wind in a particular region. But what's a systemic storm? That doesn't make any sense. Except actually, you know what? We have the same narrative even when it comes to the weather today. We turned that into the narrative of climate change. In the 1970s, we said that was about a looming ice age. Today, not that long later, we say, no, no, it's not about an ice age, it's about global warming. But that gets to the heart of what's actually going on in our country, taking what are legitimate local concerns, the local concern of racism between two individuals, something that's bad, something that we care to hopefully dilute out of a society, but turning that into a narrative precisely when you're achieving the promised land of eliminating racism, invent a myth of something that's totally incoherent. Systemic racism, what does that mean? Well, we, guess what? We're doing the exact same thing when it comes to, say, pollution. I know what clean air is, and I know what dirty air is. I know what clean and dirty water are. But now we're talking about something else altogether, not just local environmental concerns, but turning into systemic environmental concerns in the name of global climate change. And it's an interesting parallel to see the rise of these two theories at the same time. Systemic racism on one hand, climate change on the other. What it is, is it's avoiding dealing with the actual bad thing that we know we want to deal with. Actual pollution, clean air, clean water issues, actual racism, invidious behavior based on one person to another on the basis of race. And instead, sidestepping that, avoiding dealing with the actual issue that might affect a human being, and instead turning it into an abstract systemic issue that's literally irrefutable with evidence. It's an interesting parallel for what's going on in our culture. And I think the superset of this is the woke movement more broadly, waking up to invisible societal injustices. Maybe they're invisible for a reason. They don't actually exist.